Hey everyone, it's the man of stumbling speech, Roland Dell. Uh, I wanted to talk today about walking in the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, who is Jesus Christ, and who shows us all truth because of what he did on the cross for us, his completed work on the cross. And it's not of ourselves, and he could, should boast, but of grace. And grace uh, is what saves you. And grace is what leaves you, leads you home. And I want to interject for the good ground. That's the ones who actually know the Lord Jesus Christ and are deeply rooted in, in him. Um, the ones who abide in the vine. Uh, the ones who drink from the sap of the uh, vine as, as branches. Um, Everybody knows that has any type of understanding of the Lord Jesus Christ in the Bible that we must push in spiritually, work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Anybody who's serious about following the Lord understands that. Then there's nothing new under the sun. And I'm going to interject a, uh, a little chart later in this video. Um, but there's nothing new under the sun, and as Dr. Gross used to say, who trained me in street ministry, you can't put God in a box, because if you put God in a box, he won't be able to show you anything. And that simply means that you can't box the Lord into your own natural understanding. A lot of people have found, uh, have grown in their walk and found the straight gate, who is the Lord Jesus Christ, and they realize that they need to follow him because they love him. Uh, but the thing is, as we grow, because we're not doing this of our own understanding, of our own intellect, we're doing this by spirit. And by spirit, the Lord teaches us more and more and more as we become sanctified in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we we grow in wisdom and deeper understanding of him. So if you put God in a box, let's just say, uh, for lack of a better term, a denominational box, um, because of where your understanding or where that particular group's understanding is, the Lord uh, is limited a lot of times, a lot of times. Um, and I, to, to show you the truth. Now, he will show you the truth. If you seek the truth, it doesn't matter really what denomination you're in, because the Lord promises to, by the Holy Spirit to teach his people. And he will teach his people. But a lot of these um, doctrinal beliefs can stumble people. A lot of the boxing in of your perceptions of the Lord uh, uh, can stumble people and cause argument and dissension among the ranks, to use military terms. Um, so as we grow, the Lord will indeed lead us, not in our own understanding, but of spirit. And then the spirit teaches us from the inside out. The Holy Spirit enlightens the mind, and then we understand. Um, the Bible is often used as an idol where we read through the gateway of the eye uh, into the mind and um, and that which is purely academic which is um, a connection to our natural understanding our natural mind which is fine because the Lord can enlighten you in reading the scriptures later on versus just come to mind but um, that is um, that's not the way that normally when we have the revelation of the Lord to us personally, how it works. Um, that's why you're supposed to pray when you read the scriptures. Now, yes, the scriptures are confirmatory to what we have within. But the thing is, uh, there's a type of confirmation bias where, where natural man can tend to make the scriptures fit into what he wants them to believe. In other words, he can make the Lord uh, appear to be, you know, that particular person's viewpoint. And, uh, and that's fine, 
that's fine if it if it's an absolute tenet of the faith it's an absolutely biblical but the problem is there's um there's all kinds of um, ways of thinking about um, how we should follow the Lord and we follow the Lord simply by spirit in spirit and in truth and like and the Bible is confirmatory now when I say it's confirmatory that means that uh, the whole Bible the Bible as a whole and the best way that I have found in my life is by cross-referencing the scripture and by cross-referencing the scripture you can learn a lot more and this should all be done prayerfully because you are involving the Lord you're not you're not acting like a Pharisee or a scribe and just memorizing laws and dates and like a lawyer and, and fighting the Bible, but it should be done prayerfully so the Lord can enlighten you more and more and more. And that's why we should always get back to the Bible <clears throat> as we continue to grow. And with me, it's always been experiential first. The Lord has always shown me something in my life and then later he shows me it in the scripture. That's normally what happens. There has been a few cases uh, where the Lord showed me things in scripture and then I see it in my life later. Yes, absolutely. But that's because I'm, um, I'm more of, um, I learn by hearing more than I do by, by reading. Uh, that's because of my particular makeup. So, um, but that's me. That's me. And, and you can't, uh, customize the Lord Jesus Christ um, working in yourself um, for everybody if if they're truly his that is because the Lord's going to show people as they grow different truths deeper truths uh, a broader spectrum of what they've seen before and if you put God in a box saying well it's only by spirit it's only by you know I know the way the, the narrow way and this is how it works and you put him, you box him in. Um, he's not going to be able to enlighten your mind because of your own. You know, your glass is full. Your glass is full. Um, so you should always um, be re renewing your faith in light of the scriptures. And like I said, the best way to do that is through cross referencing. Because men have tried to follow the Lord for thousands of years, but ultimately, ultimately, it's a faith walk. And it's a faith walk in dependence upon the completed work of Jesus Christ on the cross. And we can do nothing apart from him. And it's by grace we're saved and by grace we're going to move in. Um, and if you are a good ground, you have a love for the truth that you might be saved anyway. And even that's of grace. And you're going to push in and you're going to learn. And even things that you may have wrong, the Lord's going to um, going to do a work in you and correct it. And he's going to show you. He's going to show you the truth, greater truths in himself, because he loves his children. So it's very dangerous to put the Lord in a box. And um, and this, but this is what, um, to our own natural understanding, this is what happens. Human humanity follows men, men's teachings. And um, I'm going to now put the chart in, and I'm going to just as an example. It may not be perfect. And there's certainly some um, some groups that are missing from it, but the general overview, the general idea is that um, people um, there's nothing new under the sun. People have always sought a, a deeper walk with the Lord, and they've always used the scriptures in comparison to what they earnestly believe on the insides, in their soul, in their spirit. Um, I don't know anybody. That would um, that would go to great lengths, and there is the spirit of Antichrist. There is there, there's a false spirit of the Lord, but that false spirit of the Lord is uh, depending on something other than the Lord's grace, other than the Lord working. It's depending on self, and uh, there's a lot of people that um, like to point out the faults and with other people, uh, and saying that they they know the way. But there is, this has been going on for centuries, and I just encourage everybody to trust in the Lord and have to pray about things. Have him show you things, and if you're um, in question about it, continue to pray about it. And I would use cross-referencing of the scriptures until, you, uh, until the Lord 
drops into you a greater truth. Okay, so here's the chart. 